In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your Pro Series IP cameras. So there, it's a two-part solution. One is you need uh, the program to do the firmware upgrade, which is um, going to be called the Avalonix Pro Series All Config, and uh, the firmware files. There's a web file and a kernel file. I'm going to first load uh, config.exe, search my network for the cameras. Once uh, I have the camera that I want to firmware upgrade, uh, you want to make sure that you're on the same network as the camera so you can push the firmware file to it. You press select on that camera, browse, browse again, and navigate over to the directory containing the firmware file. Select the kernel file first. Make sure you select upgrade type as kernel. Please don't make a mistake here, otherwise it'll corrupt the camera. Press yes. Press upgrade. You can see on this window here, on the status, it's actually going to show you the uh, a few different prompts as it goes through, upgrading and uploading the files. Notice that it now says upgrade. First it was saying uploading. So it uploads the file first and then upgrades the firmware. Towards the end, it'll shift between 10 and 100% and flicker back and forth, which is perfectly normal. Finally, uh, after a few minutes, it will say upgrade 100%. That means it's upgraded the camera's kernel file. The next step is to upgrade the web file. Go back to that folder, select the web file, press open. Make sure you select web page here, otherwise it'll corrupt the camera. Press upgrade again. It says login failed. Let's search the network to make sure the camera's online first. Select the camera again. Web file. And we'll upload the file and then upgrade it. Once it says upgrade 100%, press search again. to make sure the camera is still online, and it is. And let's log into the camera at this IP address. So now we have uh, the camera screen up, that IP address of 188. Now one of the first things you want to do is go into config and enable motion detection. You do that by first going into alarm settings, motion detection and then select motion area set, hit all, select the sensitivity to be three, that's medium, and enable all of these, hit record, press save. So now you've enabled this camera to sense motion in the entire p frame of the picture with a sensitivity of three. So again, motion area set, all, make sure email, snapshot, and record are selected, press save. If you'd like to um, attach a microphone to your particular camera and it has an input for a microphone, you can go into audio parameter, enable, audio input as mic, or line in. So most of these cameras have a line in. And uh, compression type, you can just leave as it is. Input volume can be put all the way high or just a little um, uh, less than high. Press save. That's pretty much it, and uh, your camera should be uh, able to be connected to your uh, network and PoE switch. If you're trying to connect the camera directly to a built-in PoE switch on the back of the NVR, uh, make sure you configure the IP address to be of the form 10.1.1, and then some number, and make and the gateway should be 10.1.1. That's the IP address or default IP address scheme in the internal PoE switch of our NVRs. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you.